but I wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can optimize the metadata for your website. In, in this video, I'll be going through how you can do that on WordPress and how you can use their SEO Yoast plugin. And uh, ironically, I'll be optimizing the metadata for a blog post that I am just about to publish called How to Optimize Your Website's SEO Metadata. So the first thing you need to do is install the SEO Yoast plugin. It's a really, really cool plugin. Uh, you can get the free or the paid version. I have the, the paid version because it just gives you a few uh, extra things, but um, you can still do this on the free version. It will, uh, it will still allow you to get the job done. And what you need to do is go down to the bottom and that's where you'll see the Yoast SEO plugin. And it will give you a preview of what your metadata, which is this thing here, what it will look like when someone goes to Google, uh, searches something to do uh, with your content, and it will give you a preview of what it will look like. So what you then need to do is click on the on the title. Um, there should be like a, a little arrow here. You can see that here. So click on that, um, and we'll start off by optimizing the title tag. Now, once you click on that, you'll get this little uh, area that, that opens up here where you can enter the SEO title. Um, so what I normally like to do for the SEO title is I think about what is it that someone will be typing in uh, Google in order to find the, the page or the, the blog post that this piece of content is about. Now, to help you out, you can, you can obviously take a guess and, and think, you know, what is it, what, what is it most likely that someone would type in. Uh, if you want to do some, you know, extra work and, and maybe get a little bit more accurate information, you can use keyword research tools. Uh, you can also just use uh, Google's predictive search. So I can have a look at the title, which says how to optimize your website's SEO metadata and just see what Google you know, says about that topic. So I'm going to start typing it in now. So interesting, I, no I noticed that when I had how to optimize your SEO meta, uh, one of the things that also come up was description and tags. So, so that's interesting. So I was under the impression a lot of people would type in how to optimize your SEO metadata, uh, which, you know, there could still be people typing that in. But actually, it seems like people are also typing in how to optimize your SEO meta tags. Um, so what I want to do in the title is just include um, as many of these keywords as possible while still making sure the title makes sense and it isn't very spammy. Uh, another thing I normally like to do is remove the, the company name because you know, I doubt someone's going to be typing in Skyline Social, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'd rather have other keywords that are more likely that people will type in um, rather than my brand name. I might include my brand name uh, for maybe things like your homepage, your contact page and stuff like that. But for a blog, uh, for, for a blog post, I, I'll just probably remove that. So I'm going to start writing that, how to optimize your, um, let me see what I had in Google, how to optimize SEO meta tags, SEO meta tag in fact let me have a quick look at that just to make sure so i noticed your isn't in there so i might remove your i'll see how much space i have and see if it all fits how to optimize your seo meta tags and meta data i'm just going to include both of those so if anyone types in meta tags metadata it still comes up uh, another thing i also like to include if it is possible is include the word uh, best um, because a lot of people type in, you know, the best way to do this or what is the best way to do that. Um, so the keyword best is a, is a good keyword to have in there. Uh, so is also the keyword how to. A lot of people type in how to as well. But if I can combine both of them, um, you know, I, it's, it's always a good way to get more, more search traffic. So let me just read that. How to optimize your SEO meta tags and metadata. Um, I might include the keyword website because there's a chance someone could type that in as well. How to optimize your websites, SEO, meta tags, and meta data. And what I might do is to include the keyword um, best, I might do best tips. Um, so that way we pretty much have lots of keywords that someone could type in. So I just wanna make sure it kind of just makes sense when you read it. So um, I'm just reading it again to make sure if, so if, if I was someone searching for this, would, would I click on this? based on what I first see on the title. So how to optimize your website's SEO, meta tags, and meta data. Um, best tips, and I'm coming up to the end of it now. Um, so I won't be able to add much else onto that. I'm not sure how the best tips thing sounds on the end. So I might remove that or replace that. I'll put that somewhere else, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. 
Um, the next section is the description. So this is what people see on Google uh, as well. Um, and this, is, this doesn't really affect the rankings too much, but it does affect uh, if people will click on the listing. So if you leave your description blank, you're just going to let Google decide what will come here. Uh, and sometimes they can just put random things based on your content, which doesn't always make a lot of sense. Uh, so one of the, the good things that you can do in the description is you can put in the question that you think someone is looking for the answer for. So if someone is looking to optimize the SEO metadata, um, I could put, are you looking to, or I could put actually, are you looking for the best way to optimize your, optimize the metadata and tags on your website? So that's the question, so that when people see that, they think, oh, yeah, that is what I'm looking for. And then I'll put something like, in this article, you will learn the best way to, and then I could just put dot, dot, dot. So the, what, what I like to do really is, is invoke cur curiosity with people. So I'll have the question, and then I'll start writing, you know, in this article, you will learn the best way to, or I'll start writing a part of the answer um, just I'll start writing something that will entice them to click onto it to read the rest of it. Um, so that's why I do this dot 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 thing. So there's lots of ways you can play around this. There's no you know hard rules on this. That the important principle to keep in mind is you want to write something that will invoke curiosity and get people to click on the listing when they see it in Google. So um, this is what I'll do for now. I might change it a little bit in the future if I, if I think of something better. But this will definitely be better than nothing and. Uh, just leaving it blank. So, um, so yeah, just to make it as simple as possible, write the question and then write the answer as well after that. Um, well, start writing the answer and then just put dot, dot, dot so that people can continue reading by clicking on it. The last thing that you need to optimize is the slug or the URL. So you can see here, this URL is quite long. Um, so we have how to optimize your website's SEO metadata. So um, you wanna shorten that. You only wanna have three or four uh, maybe words. Uh, again, SEO Yoast will tell you if it's um, you know if it's too long or anything like that. Uh, so you also want to remove words like um, to and your um, you know if it words like that they, they don't really mean anything. Um, so I'd remove those. Um, so what I might do is um, SEO meta data tips something like that could work. Um, and also when people see that in the search results, they'll see that this is a page about SEO metadata tips. In fact, I might do SEO meta tags tips. Yeah, something like that. Uh, again, there's no hard rules on doing this, just the principles that, to keep in mind. I'll keep it short. Um, and if you can include some of the keywords that you want to rank for as well, um, that will be good. Um, it, you know, it's not going to have an, a, mass, a massive effect on, on your rankings. The most important thing that will affect the rankings is, is the title tag. Uh, but it can still entice people to click on it if they see the URL has keywords related to, to your page. Um, so I'm just going to go with this for now. Um, let me just have a quick last look at the title, see if there's any way uh, I can improve that. Okay, so I don't think I need meta tags and metadata twice, so I might remove uh, that and make it shorter. So just put how to optimize your website's SEO meta tags. Uh, maybe I'll put metadata and tags so that I don't repeat the word meta twice, um, because there's, there's no point in doing that. Uh, and then maybe I'll do best tips and advice. Um, that way, if someone types in the keywords advice as well, I can also rank for that. And it means uh, I'm still within the, the limit and I have a few more extra keywords that we could potentially rank for uh, once we publish this article. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go with. And uh, this this video, it, you know, it will give you the principles on what you can do for your own website to optimize the title tag, the description tag, and the URL. And, uh, and then you'll be able to start ranking higher on Google for whatever keywords that you have in here. Uh, just remember, finally, just to wrap up that this isn't uh, the be all and end all of optimizing your website for search rankings. This will help, definitely. Uh, but there's still a lot more you need to be doing. So in the link uh, for this video, I'll include uh, in the description a link to an article which goes through what else you can do in order to optimize uh, your website for search engines and start to get more traffic from Google. Uh, this is one of the things you can do, one of the most important things, but there's still a lot more that you can do as well.